I might as well start with the Cooper Cup and fantasy. He's on your fantasy outlook. football. He, we rolled off three straight wins. Look, Fargo, we're doing it for you and no one else. The injury, for those of you who might not have seen it, he got kind of rolled up on, mm. um, and the outside of his leg got kind of the, his lower shin got hit. Um, I was very concerned. I think I might have texted you guys at the time. Yeah. I know I was talking with my friends about it, about how a uh, potential um, big scare for a fibular fracture. Mm. Okay, that's the next to your shin bone, the outside. Now, it's not weight bearing, so it's not the end of the world. Like if you heard like, oh, so-and-so's played with a broken leg before, yeah. it's probably a fibular fracture. And they'll like tape it up or they'll like put padding on it so it doesn't get hit as much. It hurts like an SOB, but it's, yeah, it's manageable. Pretty... So, but the problem is it's still a broken bone and it's a little different when you're a quarterback as opposed to a receiver, you know, cutting on it and sl- slamming on it. Yeah, essentially the way every he plays too. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, they said he avoided that, but he had to have surgery, which tells me, um, that there's something more than just kind of an ankle sprain going on. Usually it's, it said high ankle sprain, mm-hmm. but you don't have surgery, surgery for, for a high ankle sprain, you know? Um, so I think there was either ligaments that were stretched enough to where he needed surgery, or there was enough tear at the lowest part too, in addition to the potential mm. high ankle sprain that's going on there. Does that make sense? Yeah, exactly. Um, so I think there's more more going on than meets the eye with that. Jerry Judy. So this one also uh, I'm interested in. They immediately said it's not a not an Achilles, not an Achilles, not an Achilles, not an Achilles. And then they said it's a muscle behind the ankle, basically, is what, what they were what they were saying <laughs> on it. So the problem with that is you have ninety percent of the muscle, quote unquote, behind your ankle is your Achilles tendon. So the one thing that can be a little fishy here is um, you have a bunch of little small muscles called your peroneals. You have your peroneals brevis and your peroneus longus. Um, and those kind of go behind your outside ankle bone mm-hmm. and goes up and attaches up there. And your peroneus, uh, your peroneus longus is definitely the one that always gets hurt in the high ankle sprain. So that one's more like mid shin and it goes all the way up. Um, your peroneal brevis goes short and, and attaches kind of right under, if I remember correctly, kind of right around where that ankle bone is Mm -hmm. on the outside. um, And it goes behind it and attaches there. That helps you kind of uh, basically lift the outside part of your foot up. Got it. So like you crush your arch and open it up. Um, That's called a pronation. So it helps you pronate your foot and that's for stability wise for your ankle. Mm -hmm. Um, Usually that's stretched in a high ankle sprain when it goes the opposite way. So when your arch pops up and you kind of roll on the outside of that foot, that's usually what's, what's, stretched and that's why it gets kind of the high ankle sprain is an issue um but uh yeah so that's that's the issue with that so are there some yeah there's a little bit and there's one called your posterior tibialis that runs on the inside part of your leg that comes up um that does a little bit of the opposite so that rolls it inside so lifts the arch to the foot up um but those aren't very very uncommon for those to actually get hurt so i don't know what they're talking about in like muscles behind was he just like running the route or just... yeah he just non-contact so <clears throat> oh. i think i texted you guys in the group that i was like achilles like no one yeah. falls like that with an ankle injury then grabs the back of their leg that's Oof. not a achilles injury no shot i mean but still like the recovery time for him still be what four to six weeks regardless yeah to have anything back there yeah. um he's probably if it's any injury behind there, especially with non-contact, is going to be – I'm hesitant to say anything less than four weeks because that tells me it's a grade two. If you if you fall and collapse Sheesh. like that, you're non-contact, that's at least a partial tear. Yeah, it has to be something. At least a partial tear. Um, so we'll see about I mean, that. But I, I would say about four gonna go weeks. Any, 